fabulous did you walk down that red carpet then? Did I? Yes. Was I fully erect? <laughs> <laughs> was I? Always, yes. Because that, that's true, because before the operation, I would have been yeah, tilted you, over you a bit. Did, you did yeah, shuffled It was fabulous to see you like that. How yeah. are you? I'm all right. Really? I'm all right. Are you, you taller? Know, the thing is, I'm worse than a letter on that here. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm in great pain Being all the brave. time. I'm brave because of my wife. <laughs> you know, she, she doesn't do suffering. She said she would be my nurse and she would look after me in sickness and yeah, health. Yeah, I said for about six weeks. Forget that. I'd be done. <laughs> I thought she'd be in the pink uniform and the nurse's uniform. Only on wake, Fridays. Wake <laughs> <all the time. laughs> I tell you what I want to know is what the two of you are going to do in the mornings now. Now that you've announced that you've given up Sky. Yeah. A lot more time available there, Eamon. I will laugh when Ruth gets up at five o'clock. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I will do. Ruth. I think you're looking forward to that more than anything, aren't you? Just oh, waving yeah. me off to yeah. work. Do you know, sleeping's a great part of healing. So, so it is as well. And I, I really don't get more than three and a half, four hours sleep. But you know, 30 years wow. of doing it, though, yes. getting up, what, a quarter past half three? Yeah, and I'm 36 years of age. I know. <laughs> I know. Look, that's what it's done to me. <laughs> I said, nobody ever feels sorry for me because I hear the alarm clock too. Everyone goes, oh, poor Ray. I do. I oh, always feel Raymond. sorry for you, yeah. Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> Turn over and go back to sleep. Yeah, but sometimes you don't, he do. doesn't have to get up, he just wants to get up <laughs> away oh. from you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> see, the thing is, often my wife, oh, yeah. my wife hasn't got the strongest bladder in the world. <laughs> Actually. Yeah. Oh, but after really that happened. clip, that stopped her going. That really stopped her going. The idea that people could see you yes. having oh, a pedal. No, Can like you imagine? That. That was, how much was that? Was that 54 million, that apartment? It was, something like that. It's interesting, million. that, isn't it? Because you're, you're going around looking at these places that so presumably many of us are, are aspiring yeah. to. But did a lot of it just make you think, oh, no, yeah. just get me home. Yeah. Oh, get no. me home to my nice, yeah. my nice normal bathroom. I loved that. That was one of the few places I thought, if I had the money, I would do that. Really? Really? Yeah, and the thing about that is that was never going to be somebody's first home. That was going to be somebody's fourth home. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the yeah. estate agent who showed us around, she said, oh, they don't normally live. You know, somebody will buy this as just their kind of pad in New York. Well, they in million. Million. But, but do you York, ever have yeah. envy when you're doing all these wonderful houses and, you know, travelling private jet and everything? Does envy ever come into your life? When, what you learn most of all is money doesn't necessarily buy you taste. No. Um, <laughs> but I have to say, if I had, and you're talking about billionaires, you're not talking about millionaires, you're talking about billionaires here. If I had the money, I think I would have a helicopter, I would have a cook, and I would have a <gasps> box of old truck. <laughs> Well, I'd have it cooked from the point of view that you could sort of ring a bell and you could have a hamburger or a club you sandwich at any time bell, you want to. That's where you're yeah. going. Yeah. You've you got to work on your bell yeah. skills. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but there's very few things that we've actually... Actually, you know, it's a good question because we did think when we did the first series, we're bound to have house envy and mm. life envy and money envy and mm. jewellery envy. And actually, I didn't because actually it's stuff. A lot of it's stuff. Mm. And you think, really, how many diamonds can you have? Mm. And it's very nice. And... And a I could have millions of diamonds. <laughs> yeah. I could lie on a bed of diamonds. <laughs> But, you know, once you've done that, and the people I found fascinating are the entrepreneurs who, who've yes. come from nothing, yeah. who've made money, and I found them absolutely fascinating, yes. what drives them. And even when they are billionaires, mm. they're so wealthy, they never have to work again. They still do, mm. because yeah, they yeah. can't... They like the chase of the deal. Yeah. They should yeah. give their money away, then. She should give their money yeah, away. they're going to keep working. A lot of them do give them... A lot of them do, yeah. We like Bill Gates. I mean, Bill Gates. It's, yeah. it's, it's so much money. And yeah. yet he got to the stage where he wanted yeah. to give it away. Real wealth. You talk about what creates real wealth. None of us, none of you in the room, will ever be really wealthy unless you're making money when you sleep, yeah. when you go on holiday. That's called residual wealth. They're making money. They can't help but make money. So they're, <laughs> it's in gas and coal and oil, that yeah. sort of thing that's happening all the time. So that's real money. The thing is, I reckon, though, I would be worried about you if you had real money because you are a bit Mr Blingy. He'd be a bit bling. Right. <laughs> He'd bling everything <laughs> up. Yes, yeah. you see, the thing is, Gloria, as you know, I'm common. <laughs> Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm council house reared. I am, you know, I have aspirations. I like the idea. Like, she would never, we could never have a Rolls Royce, for instance, because she would no, find that. No, because it's pretentious. So, what would you buy? Oh, I'd buy it all. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. But yet, yeah, you won't let her buy a candle. But that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I do. Yeah, oh, good boy. It's true. Good boy, good boy. Sorry, sorry, I cannot see how any candle is worth 40, 60 or 80 pounds. At Christmas, she says to me, she says, she you pay 40 or 60. No. <laughs> no. I know she... we're running out of time. Anyway, <laughs> how the other half lives tomorrow, 9 o'clock on Channel 5. Please do not miss it. Eamon Holmes, everybody. Oh, yeah.
We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.